Hiya, my name is Britt, I'm the Hoostock team leader here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park and I just want to share some exciting news with you. Tomorrow is World Giraffe Day so we would like as many of you to come and join us for, for this exciting day tomorrow. So that is Wednesday the 21st of June and at Yorkshire Wildlife Park we'll be celebrating the giraffes all day long so we'll have exciting things like raffles with lots of giraffe information, we'll have the Hoostock keepers out just doing extra feeds with the giraffes, showing some of the enrichment they do with giraffes. On a, on a more serious note, the day is to raise funds and awareness for the giraffes in the wild. So this initiative about World Giraffe Day is started by Giraffe Conservation Foundation and this is the fourth year that we celebrate World Giraffe Day. So every year, uh, zoos, wildlife parks, companies, schools, they do events where they raise money and awareness for the wild giraffes. So every year the Giraffe Conservation Foundation have a specific project that the money go towards. So in previous years it's been to support the Rothschild giraffe in Uganda and that resulted in the um, translocation of 18 giraffes uh, to a safer area where hopefully we can secure a better future for them. And it's also secured support for the reticulated giraffe last year and that's an ongoing project so there'll be more about that later. This year the big project is for the Maasai giraffe now the Maasai giraffe, we don't have any of them here, we do have our Maasai cafe though. But the Maasai giraffe is a little bit different to the boys we have here. You'll see their pattern is very different from these boys. So the Maasai giraffe is known by having uh, vine leaf shaped patterns. So more of a jagged look to it. They've got spots all the way down their, their legs. Colour wise they're a bit like the Hansen that you see just here behind me. Quite dark in colour, even a little bit darker than him as well. Now the Maasai population is the most populous, so currently there's about 32,000 giraffes in Kenya and uh, Tanzania as well. So we are trying our best to help these giraffes, but it, that requires that we understand the reasons for their decline a little bit more. So some of the money raised this year will go towards a bit more research and also to create some wildlife management strategies. So it all sounds very serious, but they are facing serious threats out there. One of the serious threats that they face at the moment in Kenya is the, in the Nairobi National Park. There's a big bypass road that's going to cut straight through the park, take out loads of their habitat. There's also a big proposed railway going on and then there's just a big expanse of human population and settlements. So all that leaves the giraffe with is a very fragmented habitat. So they'll find, find it very difficult to find enough food and move around freely to, to secure that they, they can increase numbers in their herds. So all we're trying to do tomorrow is to raise awareness, raise some funds for the giraffe. So do come and join us. There's lovely prices in our raffle and our keepers are more than happy to talk all day long about giraffes. Hope to see as many of you as possible here.